doing? Guess where we are. Probably right, guys. We are in the Catskills. The Catskills. Yay! Yay! Well, we are back for a few days. Um, we're actually currently on our way to a hike right now. Um, we are hiking Friday and Balsam Cap. We have five peaks left. Five peaks left out of the 3,500 list. Five peaks, three hikes, two of them today. Very exciting stuff. We just got back from our two month cross country road trip. Mm -hmm. And I have so much footage from that. Yeah. I have a lot. You got a lot of homework to do. Yeah, I got a lot of homework to do. Yeah. I didn't edit any videos or anything while we were out there because there was just a lot and every day was something new, jam-packed. It was a fun time, but it was also a hectic time. So I'm excited to look back at the footage and the photos to put out there for everyone mm -hmm. and to reminisce on for us. <laughs> but it's so nice to be back in New York, in the Catskills. You guys know we love the Catskills. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it is the fall, which is, our absolute favorite. The foliage right now is just chef's kiss. Oh, we're, yeah. We are really hyped to be back and doing the 3500 peaks over here. Yeah. It feels like home, even though we haven't done these uh, Pacific peaks. The three hikes we have left, they're all bushwhacks. So that'll be a fun time. Um, yeah, ready to tackle it? Um, I'm ready. Let's. Got my little Casio watch with the altimeter on it. Got the Garmin. Got the Garmin in reach, so uh, we ain't getting lost. We are ready to go. We'll be good. So we're in the woods. <laughs> We've made it into the woods. Yep. And it's nice to be back on familiar turf. Don't you think? Yeah. Uh, Friday and Balsam Cap is one of the Catskill bushwhacks. So, supposedly no trail, marked, no marked trail, definitely, but. It's pretty well-worn. I don't know. Herd path to start, at least. Looks like a little herd path over here, so. Um, we'll see when we get further up what happens. Yeah, we have the beta. Got the beta. We're just making sure we're in the right place on our maps. Yeah. We got like three different maps, but um, <laughs> come to this part, like this looks like a road. This looks like a road that I think we follow up. <laughs> we just have to obviously get to a place where we can get up to the ridge. And then we start traversing across to the peaks. Basically we have how the map looks, or what it seems to be our plan, is we go up, and then one mountain's on one side, and the other mountain's on the other side. Right. So we just kind of go up the middle. It's going up. Yeah, a little steep now. <laughs> oh my god. It was a very gradual uphill. Now this is just a little bit steeper. Not too bad though. We've reached a more bushwhacky portion. Yeah. Just the thing, this is where people probably start going different ways. So we're just following this little divot over here until yeah. we reach a certain elevation, which Andrew has. Oh, I have my uh, Casio altimeter here. It's, you know, it's not the, it's not like precise, but it's accurate, if that makes sense. All right, we are. Officially not on any sort of path. <laughs> Just gotta go up these rocks. We actually need to root find now. And eventually, uh, yeah, we you gotta go up the mountain now, I think is the general consensus. Mm -hmm. All right. Just gotta head west. West. <laughs> Take my word for it. <laughs> This is the glamour. I don't know if you can see <laughs> this, you know. 
the steep a little soft. I like this part. This is pretty. Yeah, we're just in a forest. Yeah. Just walking a general direction. This is pretty much the ridge line. literally points to Friday and it just looks kind of like a path. Like this looks to me a little bit like a path. So I think we're on the right track. On the right path? Track, track. <laughs> track, well, track, on the right path. path. Whatever you want it to be. Yeah. Obviously everyone has to follow <laughs> yeah. to here because this is very trail. <laughs> that's just, <laughs> wow. <laughs> very obvious. For a bushwhack, that's a trail. <laughs> yeah. But we had a very nice herd path though. Yeah, along this like bit. I mean, it's, just, it's super obvious because it's just. Yeah, even with all the leaves on the ground. Yeah. Like, I didn't expect it to be like that. <laughs> yeah. Awesome ledges going up this whole thing. This boulder is incredible. <laughs> Look at that boulder. Look at that boulder. That's a nice boulder. So in this last part, we're not too far from the summit. We have to kind of like walk around the rim because if we walk straight up to the summit, I don't know if you can see, it's pretty much just like rock ledges. How perfect. It's like, it's like so deep square too. Square this is. It's so perfectly square. So we made it to a little fork in the bushwhack. It's kind of weird to say because it's a bushwhack. That way towards Balsam Cap. This way till like Friday. Oh man. Jasper. <laughs> Short but steep and sweet. This is sweet. This rock wall, this cliff. <sighs> so nice. It's crazy. We love a good cliff. You got a ledge? This would be a really fun wall to climb. Not too far, but it smells heavenly. Look at all the trees. It smells so good. It's got limbo under this. I have short legs, so hopping over that would be a little bit harder for me. Andrew, on the other hand, should be easy. Yeah, I went under, but I figured you'd go over. Yeah, that would have been, I would have just been in the air. You can tell we're near where the, um, where the canisters are, the top of the Catskills bushwhacked peaks yeah. there are orange canisters at the summit but you can see there's just herd paths all over just trying to find the summit up here because right. like we're at the top basically yeah, crisscross and we just got to find the canister that's on a tree somewhere <laughs> we've been up here for like 10 minutes to solve and found the canister <laughs> We're still in search. I spot it. It is. It's literally at the view. <laughs> Made our way to the view point up in here. And the can and the canister's here. Woo! It's so tall. Because in this in the winter the snow gets really high. It becomes super short. But Oh my gosh, we found it! But here it is. Friday. I like how it's at the view and not Ooh. at the actual point. They probably moved it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
it's so sick. Yeah, let's yeah. sign it. Let's sign right, let's it. It's been a long time since I've opened one of these. <laughs> Look at this. Here's the view uh, window up here on Friday. And this is how I'm capturing the view. <laughs> I'm on top of a tree. Making sure she doesn't fall. And I need Andrew's uh, health. <laughs> Chilling. This thumbs do. And eating the summit sandwich. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it. Making our way now to where it split to go over to Balsam Cap. Awesome. Look at that view. Wow. Wow. change of plans. We're going to try to go across instead of going back down to that fork. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. It's getting a little dense up in here, folks. Never forget when we were doing the Rocky Lone Bushwhack and Andrew ripped open his Oh, absolutely jacket. destroyed my puffy. Yeah, his favorite Arcteryx puffy. Yeah, R.I.P. that Arcteryx puffy. Uh, so. The cerium. <laughs> Brought the raincoat just in case, but I think yeah. uh, hopefully we'll be okay. Oh, 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 we're ducking. We're ducking. We're ducking. <laughs> I just have to try to not whack branches in Andrew's face. Yeah, I gotta keep a distance back here. Yeah. The floor is so nice and soft here. Feels nice on my feet. A lot of twigs. I think I'm gonna put my back. Ow! Ow! Wait! I made out of that. <laughs> I stuck the land. It's a nice hard path. <laughs> Hopefully, the canister. <laughs> you get a little bit of a view from here. Peep that way, there's the reservoir. Which is now closer. And over there looks like Cornell and Wittenberg, but I gotta look that up. I think we're close, guys. We're any any minute. I think we should be there. But in between um, Friday and Ball Sloop Cap, that was a lot of fun going through that little uh, forest. Oh yeah, it was chill. <laughs> it was really chill, but really fun. This one was a lot easier to find. No more than like 30 seconds after I stopped filming that last video, it appeared. It appeared. Would you look at that, folks? Would you look at that? Okay, so tall. Balsam oh, yeah. Balsam cap. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Old, old ball. All right, we're gonna boom. Take Sign it up. A register. Yeah. So we did it. We did it. Balsam cap is done. So now we gotta make our way back to the car. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Yep. So. We'll see you down there. We're back. Yeah. We made it back to the car. Back to the Subi Roo. All right. Time to go home and time for some pizza. All right. Yeah, that's right. So, it was a really awesome hike. It was honestly easier than I thought it was going to be. Which, that's a good thing. It's a good thing. We like that. Yeah, we like that. Anyways. But it was it was pretty aggressive. Oh. It was a three, it was like, I mean, going up, it was like nearly, what? 2,500 feet and three miles or something? What was that? I don't know. Something, something like that. Something but like that. It, it didn't, but weirdly enough, I don't think it felt that bad going up. Going down could feel a little bit, but going up didn't feel that bad, right? Yeah. yeah. But it definitely it definitely makes it into the strenuous category, I would say, for the average person. For the cat skills. 
Yeah. It was a fun time, guys. Got two more hikes to do before we finish out. So, till next time. Peace. For me and my snot rag. And Andrew.